Hi, it's Barbara Greenlee with Green Moon Stamp Studio, and in this video we're going to make this card featuring the Wildflower Designs bundle and the Wildly Flowering paper that coordinates. So let's get started. Okay, this is the card that we're going to make today, and this card uses the Wildflower Designs bundle. Here's the stamp set and it has uh, seven dies. I've got most of the stamps mounted for use right now, but here's all the dies. We're gonna use this big frame right here, and this frame cuts out an actual frame, and then you've got the inside too, which will have the little dotted edge on it. We're just keeping the frame part and then we're also using this frame for the, the white frame on the card. And then we're going to stamp some dandelions and die cut those out. Let me also show you the paper with this. You can see this sheet. Let me show you the rest of the paper in this pack. I don't know why I didn't get this paper sooner. It's really pretty. Um, I've since ordered a couple more packs, and especially since it's on sale this month. So there's this sheet, and then you've got just a burlap on the back. And this one. And on the back, we have just a flower pattern with that, that linen burlap look. This one is a little bit of a bigger pattern. Oh, is that the same? No, that's different. This one is mauve on the back. And then this one has the crumb cake. This one's got every color in it. And then uh, a linen sort of uh, misty moonlight on the back. Here's another one of the bold patterns and then small flowers on the back. But all of them have like this linen background in there, this linen texture. So I love that. And I especially love the, the misty moonlight sheets. That's one of my favorite colors. <laughs> okay, so this is the card we're gonna make and then we'll make a matching envelope and inside. So here are my supplies. I decided to go with a uh, an early espresso card base for this one. I've already scored it at four and a quarter. And we're going to go landscape and we're got this uh, this pattern and this one is just going to go flat on the front it is five and a quarter by four which will be your standard border all around so see if there's a, a top and a bottom on it before you stick it down Okay, this white is for our inside. It's also five and a quarter by four. Okay, then we're going to glue down this uh, frame. The frame I did also in uh, early espresso so that it would match the card base. So I've just got uh, some old uh, two-way glue pen here. Use whatever your favorite adhesive is, your favorite glue. And we're just going to center this. Okay. 
and then hold it down long enough for your glue to soak into your paper. At least 10 seconds is what I usually tell my ladies. Okay. And then we're going to also glue down the white one. And that's also going to go in the center. I might not have got enough glue on that. Can always sneak a little extra glue in later. <laughs> As I see that side over there is already coming up. Oh, the whole thing is coming up. So let me get a little more glue. You could also use foam adhesive sheets on this if you wanted it to be popped up or little dimensionals whatever works I don't mind it being flat because we're gonna pop a bunch of other stuff up our greeting and these dandelions so yeah, it looks like I just needed to add a, a little bit of, uh, didn't quite get enough glue. That's okay. That happens. Now it feels like I got enough glue. I'm going to have to do this one again, too. The glue just wasn't flowing good enough when I did it the first time. All right, hold that down, get that in place. All right, now we are going to build an order from the item that's in the far most background first, which would be our ribbon. And I'm using this uh, natural polka dot trim. This came out with uh, online exclusive, the Cafe, Cafe Latte, uh, I forget exactly what it was called. I'll, I'll put it down there as a title. And I'm using three and three fourths inches of ribbon for this. And yeah, that looks like it's not too long. I'm going to use some tear and tape for this ribbon. And I'm just going to stick it right down on my card like that to hold the ribbon and then take off the protector. And then stick this ribbon down. The burlap has a lot of texture, so that tear and tape will hold it good. Okay, then I have I have white embossed my greeting. And it looks like I did not bring my little scissors up here, so I'm going to have to use my big ribbon scissors. 
and we're just going to trim some of that off and put some dimensionals on there. All right. Now I don't want this teeter tottering on the ribbon. So I'm going to put my dimensionals near the top. And I'm also going to leave a gap here so that I can slide these dandelions in behind without the stems getting in the way of the dimensionals or the dimensionals getting in the way of the stems, however you want to look at it. So right about there. And then I will put dimensionals on the dandelions too. These were, these were cut out using the center of the frame. So no reason to get another scrap of early espresso. I just used what came out of the frame for uh, embossing these dandelions in white. And then we're going to stick that behind there and let it kind of overlap and let's put a dimension on this one too see i think the big dimensional will fit could also use your black dimensionals on this since we're using early espresso and we're going to let the little dandelion overlap right there too. Okay, so now I want to add these texture dots. Let's see, what are they called? Yeah, a textured adhesive back textured dots. These are amazing. Um, I believe I believe they're not available at the moment. Uh, maybe by the time you watch this video, they'll be back in stock. Um, hopefully you can see that detail on those. Um, but these are absolutely amazing. I'm in love with them. And I've ordered more of them. Uh, I did manage to get a few more before they went out of stock. So I'm going to do uh, two big ones and one little one on here. That will even up my dots because I have more, more big than little at the moment. Okay, so that is the outside of the card. Now we need the inside. So for the inside, I am stamping the little flower that is in the set in early espresso. And I will also stamp it on the envelope if I can find it. Here's the envelope. Okay, and then there's this little linen texture stamp in the set and I'm going to stamp that in Moody Mauve to match our background paper but I don't want it full strength so I am going to stamp off um, I'm going to use this I'm trying to save my Pretty grid paper. <laughs> okay, so although that's what the grid paper is for. All right, now 
you could just leave it like that. Uh, when I did when I did mine uh, for my club, I did color it in, but uh, I think it looks good just stamped in early espresso as well. If you wanted to color it in, uh, you could color your flowers mauve to match your paper, or you could color them misty moonlight to match the flowers in the paper. I the ones that I did color, I did that. I did moss uh, misty moonlight, and then I did light mossy meadow for the leaves and then there was a little bit of of bud under the flower so i used my early espresso no I, i'm sorry there is no early espresso i used my deep 100 uh, skin tone so the su 100 so that's what i used to fill in that little gap so um, color it in if you want to, or leave it the way it is. And then you can put it in on the inside. And that will finish your card off. A pretty easy card. I love these frames. We've got quite a few of them now in different die sets. And they make a pretty... A pretty cover for your card. Nice layout. So that's that card. Thanks!